Good afternoon. Hello, it is I. Uh, and I'm currently on the A38, travelling down to Shrewsbury, or Shrewsbury, depends on how you would like to pronounce it, um, for Vapefest 2015. Yes. Mm. Uh, because it is tomorrow and Sunday where it is the public days, and of course, live music and what have you. Uh, and it occurred to me, after I'd actually filled up with fuel, that I hadn't done my usual um, stationary video introduction to this little VT that I do every year for Vapefest. Um, so I thought I better get something down en route, yes. Now as you can tell I'm wearing my sunglasses. Um, it is relatively bright out there actually, yes, it's not too bad at all. Um, temperature wise it's, uh, it's say 19 degrees, yeah, and I do have my air conditioning on. However, I've turned it off just to do this little bit of BT because I don't want it to be uh, blowing, really. Yeah, because we've got enough with the, uh, the sound of the road. Yeah. Anyway, as I said, I'm heading down to the, uh, the site for uh, some filming today. And then um, tomorrow, it is, uh, it's Vape Fest. Yes. So now I'm in a quandary as well. And the quandary is thus. I'm actually staying in the hotel. I don't do camping. Um, <laughs> no, I just don't do camping. So, the question is tonight, how am I going to spend time in town meeting people uh, and um, having a drink and a laugh and all that kind of stuff? Or am I going to hang around the campsite and party with the campers? Um, so, the jury's still out on that. I haven't decided. I think I'll weigh up my options a little bit later on. Um, because whatever I do, I'll have to either park the car and if I'm at the site, I'll have to get a cab to um, to the hotel or if I'm at the hotel, blah, 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 blah. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do yet, but I'm sure you will see in the coming bits of VT. Yes, because I'll be taking my camera everywhere. <laughs> and I've also got this phone, um, which does full HD as well. So. Um, I will have footage. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to crack on with my journey. I've got about an hour and a half to go um, because there's quite a lot of traffic today for some reason. I wonder why. Yeah. Anyway, I'll see you soon. This is a big style. It's going to be a cracking day, and this is going to be on Viper Trails TV. <laughs>
Hello. Hello. I've got stands as well. Oh, you've got stands <laughs> as well. How are we this morning? Yeah, I'm, I feel much better. I didn't, it was not camping, it was good. Staying in a hotel, shower, hot meal, thingy, man, keeny on for today and I'm set. I think, <laughs> just about. Excuse me while I throw it. I need caffeine now. <laughs> I definitely need caffeine. <laughs> And this is exactly the same. We've found a way out of the smoke. We know it killed us. We know it's harmful. This is a way out, and they're not going to tell us what we can and can't do with it. And this is the difference between when we were smokers and now we're vapors. We've got a voice now, and the listen to us. Listen, day one at Vapefest UK 2015. Uh, it's Saturday, and I'm here in the tea juice tent with uh, Nigel Quine. Oh, I got it right this time. I got it right. I've been calling Nigel Quine, Nigel Quinn for years, uh, up until last night. But hey, there you go. That's what happens in vaping. Um, <laughs> so this morning, your tent was, uh, what should we say, maxed out as it normally is at Vapefest. Yeah. Um, how's it been for you so far this year? Uh, well, I think this is a culmination of uh, quite a few years worth of effort, fine tuning by the committee and various others uh, to bring what I think is the Vape Fest event now. This is how it is, this is how I think a lot of people saw it or hoped it would be. Um, you know, it's complete festival. It's got everyone out. It's, I mean, the one good thing I think that's been very significant is the fact that it's a two day event now. Yeah. Uh, and the fact that that's the case, we don't have people running and going, give me juice, give me juice, give me juice, and all this sort of thing. Uh, they're kind of like a lot more mellow. Bricks look a lot better for it as well. Yeah. Um, which is a good thing. Uh, and it's just been, you know, it's just been a totally different buzz. And the fact that we've actually got sunshine up. The weather, I've got to say, you'll see from the VT, but I mean, the weather today has been... Look at his face, you can see it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I had to get some, I had to get some um, factor 30 off somebody, so I brought no protection at all. Um, and to be fair, I'm feeling the heat a little bit because I've been out all day with the camera. Well, lucky you, because I've been in the tent all day. <laughs> well, that's what happens when you own a, a juice company, Nigel. Oh, I see. <laughs> so, uh, you, Tea Juice, have, uh, well, you're a huge sponsor for Vapefest this year, but you sponsored the soundstage. Yeah. You've got Billy Idol DJing, um, and you've got uh, the... Livewire. Livewire, right. which is the ACDC tribute band. Indeed. Uh, I've heard their warm-up session, and uh, tonight is going to be rocking. In fact, tonight I'm staying on site and I should be either staggering or getting a cab back to the hotel because uh, I don't camp, as you know. Um, <laughs> so uh, I'm looking forward to that immensely, I yes, have to say. Indeed, yeah. uh, although you'll see some footage, but unfortunately you can't hear the audio. But um, I think you'll be able to go and get a link back to their site yeah. and see them, but they're, they're worthwhile. And I mean, the reason I got these guys is they're a good bunch of lads. They are the best tribute band. I mean, I love ACDC. And to be honest with you, it's this sort of vibe. A lot of the people here love it too. And we've been talking to, about it all day with people. And some of the actual fans came down as a result of them putting on their tour on their website. And when you know you have a tour and you see uh, to that many pounds, that many pounds, then free, yeah. it kind of tends to draw people. Yeah. 
Yeah, they have put it on their website as part of their world tour, yeah, which yeah. is which is quite good. And in fact, I have spoken to some people already yeah, yeah. that have said, what time is the band on? Mm. I came to see the band. Mm, exactly. Um, yeah. And the Vapors. Yeah. Which is a really cool thing. Yeah, it's a bonus. Well, it's, well, it ties up. And then, you know, the other, the other gain for all this is that you may get people coming in who aren't. And then, you know, they could see what this, this whole, you know, thing's about, you know, what, what the community's about and go, wow, actually, this is a really cool thing. And this is what it's, you know, Vape Fest for me is about giving back to the community. That's why we always do free juice. We have done for the last four years, we've done it. Um, you know, people come in, it's, it, you know, that's why I think we're Mobton, as I was saying to you earlier, early in the days, because people see it as a kind of first stop. Yeah. You know, get it here and then they can go and mooch around and stuff. And then, you know, it, you know, this is all part of the vibe, I think. You know, all part of the, the Vape Fest and TG's vibe. Yeah, uh, I mean, for me, Vape Fest, no matter what else goes on during the year, Vape Fest is, will always be Vape Fest. Oh, yeah. It, it's, it, it's just got to happen. Well, it's the quintessential vaping event, as I said, of the world. Don't you mean, I mean, the, don't you mean the quintessential? Quint oh, <laughs> you got it right this time. You see what I did there? Yeah, very good, very good. Almost witty. Uh, <laughs> yes, no, it is. You know, it, it's it's part of the, the the whole fabric of vaping, really. Yeah. You know, vape fest, tea juice, uh, DV. Yeah, absolutely, you know, absolutely. It's it's part yeah. of the whole thing. Yeah, and, and I love the fact that we've got a load of really good juice companies that have come through, a load of amazing modders and people like this. And it's this is the thing. It's about innovation. And the rate of innovation is just fantastic. I mean, I love that. That's the threading part of it for me. Yeah. You know, people can do that, and we need to protect that. Yeah. You know, I'm not going to get political now, <laughs> but we need to protect that. Yeah. Let's just we get do. that right. Fine yeah. lines. Yeah. Everything's yeah. fine lines, you know. Yeah. No, we need to protect it so we can have more of the same next year. Mm. So, uh, actually, weirdly, just just before we go, yes. someone actually asked me, "Is it going to be on next year?" And I said, "Bloody right, it's going to be on." Of course it is. Even more reason to have it on. I, I hope you so. Know? I hope it is. I hope yeah. it is. It, 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 it all rests upon what happens in May next year, exactly. as we know. Exactly. Um, there is a, there's one being announced so far, which is before the date, Vapor Expo, 8th and 9th of July, mm. uh, May next year. Um, but um, it would be good if we could carry on carrying on yeah, because you know, this is what we want as vapors. But you won't get it unless you act upon all the stuff that's going on. Yeah, end of political arbit. Yeah. <laughs> Nigel, a pleasure as always. Awesome, mate. Cheers. Yeah. Dave K is here with his uh, with his beer. Look. Yeah, you'll get me a little bit because it picks up a bit of the background, but it's actually not too bad on the background noise. Yeah, it should be okay. Are oh, you having fun, Dave? Yeah, I'm having fun. Yeah, sun shiny, got a beer. Yes, there's uh, lots of uh, lots of people waiting for the, uh, the raffle. Just a few. Yeah. So uh, the question is, Mr. Kitson, uh, are you going to win this year? Unlikely. Statistically, no. <laughs> <laughs> I think I last won in 2012. I last won in 2011. Uh, well, are you due a win? Do I'm definitely due a bloody win. <laughs> the amount of vape meets I bought raffle tickets at. I won the first two vape fest raffles. Rick. 
It wasn't. <laughs> and then, uh, and bugger all since. So, yeah. So, I'm due. I'm due. from uh, Deccan and Vapors. How's it going this weekend? I've been brilliant. Really, really, really good. Yeah, it's been fantastic. All the people coming around, fantastic. Great opportunity for people yeah, to try sample the liquids and enjoy the experience of Deccan and Vapors. <laughs> and how, how did you uh, enjoy the band last night? Oh, wow. Wow. Brilliant. I actually did some uh, proper rocking out to them. Uh, br absolutely brilliant. Did you mosh? I didn't go to the mosh pit, no, I uh, stayed slightly away from that, but I was enjoying my cider a little too much probably at that. A little bit of uh, jigging did go on, yeah. Well listen, we hope to see you uh, very soon at the next event, um, hopefully. Yes. Oh definitely, we'll be here. We always will be, yeah. Excellent, always a pleasure. Yeah, cheers guys, cheers. So I'm here with Andy Sutton at UK Vapefest 2015. Uh, I thought it'd be a good idea to catch up on where we are with uh, the whole SWAF campaign. Uh, and you would have seen a few weeks ago that uh, Andy put a new video out, um, which was very well received uh, and superbly edited. He oh, says, thank he you. He says under gritted teeth, because Andy's such a great <laughs> bloody editor. Um, but yes, superbly edited as usual. Uh, Andy, where are we at the minute with the whole SWAF campaign? Well, as you say, we released, uh, we, I released the latest video which showed the uh, journey that we've all been on from 2000 and, well, I've been on from 2009 and the first Vape Fest, which was literally 12 people in York. And it took us through to the latest filming day, which was at Vapor Expo UK, which was at the NEC. And that was my first sort of expo show that I attended. And the difference was amazing. The, the, the faces, obviously, the, 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 some of the, the faces that we know from 2010, 2009 are still there. But the cloud chasing element, the, the image of vaping has changed. And I just wanted to sort of illustrate that through that video. Uh, but the message behind vaping is still the same, that we are doing something that is massively reducing harm and means an awful lot to a lot of people. And that number of people is growing exponentially every day. And here at Vapefest 2015, your footage will show that. You know, the numbers are amazing, the vibe is fantastic, and it's a vibrant, healthy community. Yeah, we've noticed a real, a real change this year with the, uh, the expos. Um, there was Vape Jam, Vape Jam, uh, Olympia, um, which was very cloudy. I mean, you really, you really got to see more of the cloud chasing um, genre, if you like. Yeah. Um, and then with um, Vapor Expo, again, very big, about 7,000 people. Um, and it really has picked off, really picked up, I should say, um, over the past four years that I've been vaping. Uh, it's five years for me in, in February next year. Um, and you really see a difference not only in the technology that's available to us now, but also the new people coming on. You know, we started off at a few hundred thousand, and now there's what, about three million vapors in the UK. Absolutely. The, the, number, the numbers are amazing. And uh, the, the, the days of seeing a, a, an e-cig user in the street and feeling like you need to hug them are over because you see them everywhere. And if you, even if, uh, when, when I first saw my first e-cig user having vape for six months back in 2009 sort of time, 2010, that sort of time, I was in London and I saw a, a, a lady walking along the street towards me using a screwdriver and a 901 and little carts 
and and I approached her in the street and we had a conversation about them, how brilliant they are, what, what they, you know, the, the, she hasn't smoked for six months. And the sentiment is still there. The uh, effectivity, the uh, efficacy of the devices are, is still there, but that, that they are much more mainstream now, they're much more commonplace. And that's what SWAF is doing at the moment. We're trying to get across the fact that there is a vast amount of vapors out there that don't know about the TPD, the, product, the Tobacco Products Directive, that don't know that what they are doing, that they are enjoying so much, that, that means so much to them, is, a, is, is about to change. And the video that we're producing here, well, I keep saying we, it's just me, but we as, uh, me and the kickstarting people who <laughs> made this possible, we are making a video which will show that and get that message across. In terms of the bigger project um, and the, kick, the Kickstarter rewards and everything, we are aiming to get the, the, all the perks out to the people that kickstarted our project mid-September time. So that will be a, a long film which is all the videos that are on YouTube with extra bits you haven't seen yet and that will be mid-September because we're in a, I'm in a situation where there is a film here but to get it in front of a mainstream audience the people who will distribute the film need a different ending than the vapors need. The vapors, the community needs a film which they can put in front of people to show politicians and show people who are making these decisions and get the buzz going about what the, the uh, especially the Totally Wicked legal challenge. Um, they can get behind that and, and make, make, make our voices loud again. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. but the, the people that we've talked to in terms of distribution and getting it in front of a mass audience, they want an ending. Now, a vapor would say, but you've got your ending, the TPD is in, in place. But they are much more, they're keen to get someone who illustrates what the TPD will, does, not will do, does. So someone buying a packet of cigarettes, someone not being able to buy their favorite d device or juice. There's a whole variety of things that's gonna happen when the TPD comes in, but we don't know what that is until it happens. And the, the love films and the uh, Amazon streaming services, to get it on there, we need to do two things. We need to get the, a film into film festivals and then they will take it. But to be able to do that, we need to jump through several hoops. But I understand that that is reaching beyond what the Kickstarter campaign originally was set out to do, which was to make a series of web videos that people could tweet to their politicians and get, get them out there. We're still doing that. But I, I'm certain that there is a, there's a film there's, there's a very personal British story in vaping. And that is what the big film is going to do, but that is separate from what the Kickstarter campaign is. So I'm going to deliver the Kickstarter campaign and then just keep going, just keep going. And then even if the film comes out after whatever the TPD does to us, that can be equally as powerful. That can get our message across and things can change. Things can change. Yeah, it, it, it's a double-edged sword, isn't it? Um, Devil in the deep blue sea. Yes. yes, because to be commercially viable, it needs to be one thing. Yes. Um, but to be used for advocacy, it needs to be another thing. Exactly. And it's not even the commercial viability of it. I would literally give the swath finished film for no return just to get it in front of the mass audience that Amazon and that Netflix represent. But to be able to give them the film that they want, it has to do certain things. And I'm listening to that feedback that I'm getting. And as you say, the ad advocacy has to be part of the film. It can't be the film. Yeah. And that, I, I think people are expecting something um, amazing and marvellous. It's going to seal the fate and, and, and prove everyone wrong and, uh, and be the the shining white knight that's going to save us all. Um, but in reality, 
people need to save themselves. Exactly. They need to still exactly. carry on with exactly. the campaigning with their MPs and MEPs. They need to go and sign the Totally Wicked campaign. And they need to do it now, really. They do, they do. And I, I, and I, I think in, in doing the advocacy stuff and putting the videos up, I've seen that certain videos get more views and the, 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 the highly political ones get less. So in terms of making a noise, we still need to be making that noise. But it, you can't, you can't you, what's the old saying? You can't, you can't take a horse to water. But, you know, you can take a horse to water, but they, you can't make them drink. It's our time to take a big old drink. You know, we need to get stuck in and, and keep making a noise and and do it. All these people out there are, are advocates in their own right. Uh, they need to sign on that petition and uh, assist Totally Wicked in their legal challenge in any way possible. I think. I think that's 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 a good suggestion. Yes. No one can do it unless everyone does it. At the end of the day, it's no good people sitting back and, and saying, well, you know, Tether Wicked have got their action. I don't need to do anything. I can just sit back and wait. Um, not the case. You need to be out there. You need to be talking to the right people um, and bothering your MP and your MEP in a polite manner, I have to say. Um, yes. Sending endless abusive tweets gets us absolutely nowhere. Um, but then sharing Andy's videos when they come out, just get them get them viral, that, that's the thing. Uh, and then hopefully soon, when we get the full swath story uh, in its entirety out there in the mainstream, then maybe people will listen. Now then, I have just arrived back home um, having uh, driven from UK Rate Fest 2015. Yeah, um, three hours on the road. It wasn't too bad though, pleasant day, and it's been an absolutely smashing weekend. It really has. The weather was really hot yesterday, and it didn't let us down today either. Um, so um, I'm, I'm rather pleased that the weather held out for us this year. Um, what can I say about the weekend? Uh, immense. It has just been an immense experience this year. Uh, the whole soundstage sponsored by Nigel Quine of Tea Juice um, it was just amazing. Uh, Billy Idol, the DJ, was great. Uh, the ACDC tribute band who I forget the name of uh, but they were great, they were loud um, and as you would have seen from the little clips of footage um, they were going some as well um, and everyone had a great time last night uh, at the main stage um, let's hope that we can continue with these events um, going forward next year because really without these events and without Breakfast, um, you know, we, we haven't really got a community have we uh, and thousands of people were there and the attendance was good again today as well. Yesterday was just mad busy um, but today was a little bit uh, a little bit slower um, but uh, it looks like the vendors all had a good time. Um, there were some cracking deals to be had if you were there. Um, I purchased a couple of items which I should be showing you over the coming weeks, yes. Uh, and um, you'll see all the thanks at the end in my credits. Um, people I want to thank. Um, so uh, just for now, it's it for me. I'm going to go and unpack the car uh, and uh, start dumping up all the stuff from my cameras uh, onto the computer. And tomorrow, the editing starts. Yes. <laughs> 